talk about this Ruger takedown again. We actually got a chance to go out and shoot it finally. And I uh, thought I'd do a little bit of a review. First off, we've got these two pockets on the outside, which are pretty cool. I figured out a use for one of my Otter boxes. This is a whole box of bulk uh, 22 with the technical AR stuff from uh, CCI. This was about 375. I fit the whole the whole case in there, the whole box, and it barely closed. But I guess that's about how much we shot. And I think this is going to end up in what this box is going to be used for. I can see right away how much ammo is in there, and it fits right in here. And you have to bring ammo anyway, so this way uh, I'm so sick of those uh, cardboard ammo boxes breaking on me. You know, obviously that's not going to happen with this one. So that pocket worked out great for that. Of course, I don't carry the locks around or anything. It's a little heavy carrying 300 rounds, but honestly, what is that? 20 bucks. So I'd rather have a couple extra rounds available if we have time to shoot it. Now in this bottom pocket, I put all three of my 25 round mags and there's room for a fourth. Uh, I just need to find room in the wallet to buy another one. Uh, the Molly looks fine. This did work real well as a bag. I really wish it was built a little more solid with a little bit better quality materials because this I think is a great size bag. Uh, fits great behind the seat of a car, uh, in the back seat. When you carry it out, you carry it from the top here. So there's nothing about this that screams gun. I kind of like that. Open it up. We ended up not going to the range that had target stands, so we didn't use these. But you can see there's plenty of room for uh, targets or you know any other kind of stuff you might want to take to the range with you. Brought around the, the uh, Tech 22 since they share the same magazine. You know, it's a great companion to a 22, and that's one of the reasons I wanted to get another 1022 that I could take to the range a little easier. The uh, entire rifle does fit on one side, so we've got the barrel assembly and the stock and receiver all on the same side, which is pretty cool. Of course, this is the takedown. If you haven't already seen the video, go check it out. Great rifle. Shoots awesome. Uh, the front sight, it's been a while since I guess I've shot a stock 1022. So while that front sight is definitely a good target sight, you can see, yeah, there we go. It's a really uh, thin blade. And then this is actually, with the lighting in here, deceptive. That's a brass bead on the front there, which is great. However, the uh, it's really tough to see, especially against our you know, sand and the color of our rocks out here in the desert. Uh, it's serrated just a little bit though to stop some glare. Uh, it is an accurate sight. Shooting against something like an orange bullseye, this would be a great sight. Uh, the rear sight is simply a notch with a little diamond there and it can flip down. I guess if you had an optic on it or maybe to put it in the bag so you don't uh, snag it on anything. Uh, but this makes a pretty decent uh, sight combo. Let's see if I can get that in video. And again, it doesn't really glow like that, which is one of the reasons I wanted to talk about this front sight. I already mentioned in the video when we first got this rifle that I'm going to chop the end off as far as I can to make it about 16 inches or so, and then, uh, re and then thread the end and reattach a front sight. Since this front sight is actually incorporated into the barrel, at least I'm pretty sure it is, it doesn't seem like it's tapped on there. It looks like it's just turned as part of the barrel when they create it. Uh, since that's the case, uh, it's not like it can be taken off and then put back on. Uh, plus with the taper of the barrel, that probably wouldn't work anyway. So once we cut it, we're going to have to put some sort of new sight on there. That's what I'm getting at. And I think we might go with something else. Uh, everybody shot this so far, and some people are fine with the front sight. Uh, I didn't like it, and some of the other guys didn't like it. So I think I might actually go with maybe a True Glow. Or uh, I guess it's a chance to go out and explore the different options for 22 front sights. If anybody out there has used a uh, front sight that they like, uh, let us know. I haven't shopped for them in quite a while. I imagine I'll leave the rear sight. I can't see any reason to swap that out unless you know I come up with some sort of a combo. And I'll switch it out. It's on a dovetail, so it should come out pretty easy. Otherwise, the rifle shot fine. Super reliable, like you'd expect. Um, I haven't cleaned it yet, but I'm assuming because of the stainless steel, it's going to be pretty easy to clean as well. That gave me plenty of room in the bag to 
bring out another takedown. My old shotgun. Which is also a takedown model. So uh, it's pretty heavy with both the shotgun and the rifle in there, but again, we're dealing with a couple hundred rounds of ammo. So we had a lot of fun with that Ruger takedown, a very inexpensive way to spend some time uh, pulling triggers and, and having fun. So uh, this worked out to be a pretty nice little combo and a compact package there. And again, a pretty inexpensive afternoon of shooting. Thanks for watching. The guys and gals of GunWebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thanks for watching GunWebsites.com.